Hello, welcome real estate professionals. Thank you for being part of our Agent Advantage monthly webinar series. My name, Kurt Klaus, and these webinars are brought to you by the Agent Advantage website. It is proprietary to guaranteed rate. If you are not familiar with Agent Advantage, it is our no cost website. It not only has mortgage tools and a loan status dashboard, but it also contains a full marketing CRM. It has coaching videos. It has webinars just like this one that you've tuned into. If you are not familiar with Agent Advantage, you can go to agents.rate.com, check out the website, or you can contact your loan officer from the Guaranteed Rate family of companies. Agent Advantage is all about making your life easier and helping with your production. So check out Agent Advantage if you are not already part of the system. Today's webinar, we are super excited. We do these monthly, like I said, lots of different topics, social media help, mortgage products, marketing help. But today is a relevant topic with mental health being such a current topic and with positivity being one of our core values here at Guaranteed Rate. Today is how to use joy as a tool for ultimate success in health. We know that it all interacts and, and has uh, value to everybody. So we thought we would bring in an expert today to talk about how they all go together so I would like to welcome Dawn Jackson Blattner. As an introduction, she owns a nutrition and consulting communications business. It has a focus on attitude. She's a registered dietitian, nutritionist, certified specialist in sport dietetics. She was actually the head dietitian for the Chicago Cubs for 10 years and Yes, that included their World Series, Ron. She does have a ring. She's the author of two books. You may have seen her on the Today Show, Good Morning America. She talks about how to improve your life with motivation, health, nutrition, and energy. And we thought it would be a perfect topic to bring together the business side, success, and the wellness side. How you doing, Dawn? Thank you so much for being a part of this webinar. Good to see you. Ah, oh, so good to see you. Thank you so much for having me. I cannot wait to share the information that I have. It's a game changer for me, and I know it's going to be a game changer for you. We are happy to have you. And one of the reasons we brought Dawn on is this is in conjunction with the rate app that we just rolled out. I'll talk about it at the very end if you want to hang around, but our newly launched rate app has two pieces, a financial wellness component, and then a personal health component, which talks about meditation and diet, nutrition, and fitness. So perfect segue to bring Dawn in with her presentation to talk about what she does so well. Thanks, Kurt. I will leave it to you and bring up your slides, but thank you again for being here. Happy Yay. Well, hey, here I am talking about a topic that is near and dear to my heart. Like I say, uh, it's a game changer for me, and I hope you feel the same when we're done here. The topic is joy is a nutrient. You know, do you get it? I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist and nutrients, you know, it all rolls together. Um, but really what I'm so excited to talk to you about is using joy as a tool. So not just a feeling, uh, but a tool that actually helps with success and it helps with health. So uh, when I think about joy being a nutrient, I, I want to slow that down for a beat and just think about, you know, as a dietitian, I talk about things like fiber and vitamin C. And those are, of course, things that are great for our health and our wellness, our longevity, our energy. But let me tell you, joy is a part of that. Joy is a nutrient that is integral in being a part of ultimate holistic wellness. So when I think about today and I sat back and I said, you know, uh, real estate professionals, 
Uh, we're all real people. You know, what am I going to talk to them about that could really impact them? Uh, I really wanted to start with my own joy experiment in my life uh, to give you some proof of concept. Uh, and then actually dive into the science of joy so that this isn't actually something I've made up. There's actually great research about this. And probably the most important thing that I can share with you today is that joy is a skill set. You hear that? Skill set. Why I love that is because that is something that I can practice. That is something that I can get better at. It is not something that I need to force, right? This is, it's a skill set. And I can actually teach you how to find joy with a three-step method called the joy GPS. So I'm going to give you the whole outline and then in the end, really drive it home with things that you can do right after this webinar uh, to start experimenting in your own life with joy as a tool. All right. So here it is. I'm going to set the stage for my own joy experiment that happened in my life in uh, 2012. I was writing my second book. I was the dietitian for the Cubs, always on Today's Show, always on Good Morning America, doing all of these things. So uh, young dietitians would call me and say, oh my gosh, how do you get this success? How do you get a career like this? Give me all your wisdom. Give me your tips. And so I got these calls often. And I had this one call when I was giving tips. And I remember hanging up and just crying, just sobbing, 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 thinking, wow, I created this life that looks so good for everybody to look at, but it feels miserable to live. I was absolutely miserable. It didn't matter what's on the outside. So, you know, we say, you know, check on your happy friends, you know, like the idea is it doesn't matter what people look like and act like on the outside. What's going on really in their life, really in their business, really in their mind and their heart. You know, that's what we're talking about today. And so I was miserable. And I said, you know what? Much like you, I bet I didn't go into this job. I bet you didn't go into your job thinking, oh, you know, I want this to be miserable. No, we are picking passion professions where we feel like we want freedom. And we want to do it our way. We want to feel good. You know, that's where I picked it, right? And I wasn't getting that. I was creating a real bad situation for myself. And that's much like you, right? It's like we're in charge of this life that we have, this career that we have. It's like, why not do it in a better way? So I didn't know what to do. So I hired a business coach in 2012. I said, business coach, I want more joy in my job. That is what I went into this business for, is what I want to re-remember. Because I used to have it. She said, great, I'm going to give you your first assignment. Your first assignment is a joy journal. You want to change it, you got to track it. Track it to change it. Okay, great. So I said, what do I do? She said, just record your joy for the week and I'll see you in one week and we'll talk about it. So I am very good at assignments. I was very excited. I got a new notebook and I was ready for my joy journal. And day one goes by and I'm really trying. I'm really trying to figure out what could I write down. I didn't get anything the first day. Second day, really trying. Couldn't find anything. Third day, fourth day, fifth day. Now I'm getting nervous because my session is coming again. Seven days, I'm just going to be honest. I'm paying for this business coach. I'm going to be honest. I have nothing in my joy journal. I could not find one single thing. I couldn't find one single thing to be joyful about. And I said, you know, this is why I'm hiring you. Fix this, you know, <laughs> fix this. And so she said to me, listen, instead of trying at the end of the night so hard, why don't you just slow it down? Why don't you just be more present, okay? Why don't you just look for little things that bring you joy? I said, okay, okay, okay. I'll try, let me try again. So little things that bring me joy next week. I said, you know what? I woke up in the morning. I said, I kind of like mornings. I'm going to put mornings down. Morning, morning time makes me happy, morning. And I was drinking my coffee. I was like, you know, fine, coffee. I think coffee brings me joy, coffee. And then, you know, I turned that in. And so then I got a little bit better. And then I was like, you know, I like going to the gym and talking to people there. I like the good music at the gym. I like wearing these pink pants that I'm wearing today. I like Hallmark movies. I like my cozy robe at night. I could really start finding when I slowed it down and started catching little joys, starting these little things. 
uh, in the in the meaningful moments, right? Not at the end of the day. It was like, oh my gosh, I got this. I got it. So I said, listen, business coach who I'm paying a lot of money to, I got this. I ace this. I am now ready to talk about business because I hired you for talking about business. I want success and joy and happiness in my business. And then she tells me this. Your business is only as healthy as you are. So guess what, Don? We're never going to talk about your business. We're only going to talk about you. We're going to talk about you and your joy, you and how you feel, you and how you show up for you, you and how you follow through for you, you and your boundaries, you, you, you. And I was like, I can't believe this. I hired a business coach for my business and now this is like a self-help thing. Sure enough, though, I took that in. You know, take this in. You're only as uh, healthy. Your business is only as healthy as you are. I said, you know, that makes sense, actually, because I know this, that your relationships are rarely healthier than your relationship with yourself. So we know business is relationships. I have a little uh, house there, like a nod to real estate. But we know, I mean, even my business, it's all so much about relationships. And you've got to be healthy. You've got to feel good. You've got to have confidence and trust in yourself and respect of yourself and feel like you're authentic. You have to feel all that for others to feel it. So you know what? Fine. I agree with this. I said, fine. I Let's keep working on me. I'm all in. So do you know who this is? Uh, this is Marie Kondo, and she has a, a book that is uh, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. That's what her book, she's a, like a clutter helper, right? So she's, she's this person that helps you reduce the clutter in your house. Well, guess what? She does it in a way that she makes you ask every single thing, does this bring you joy? If not, you get rid of it and set it free. Does this bring you joy? If not, you get rid of it and set it free. Does this bring you joy? So these two things were converging at the same time. My business coach and her popularity in this book of Does It Bring You Joy? So I started doing that in everything in my life, everything in my business, everything in my life. And let me give you some examples of in my business, just so you can have proof of concepts here, right? So I'm now believing my business is only going to be as healthy as I am. It's only going to be as joyful as I am. So I go to my first thing. I say, you know what? I'm not that happy at my Cubs job, actually. It's not that fun. It's not that joyful. What can I do to make it more joyful? I said, you know, I could wear, you know, uh, these faux leather blue pants that I have. That would be pretty fun. I love music. What if we started playing music in the clubhouse? You know what? I actually, I, instead of just like teaching people about nutrition, what if I start making like shots, like green shots and beat shots and matcha shots and start playing that song? Shot, 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 shots. So I start doing this at the Cubs. I dress crazy I, out of the blue. I start doing all these shots with all this nutritious juices and stuff. And guess what happens? It is contagious. People, all the players, coaches, staff, everybody is way more into nutrition. And it, my job becomes so much easier because they're all so engaged. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like working. I, you know, I thought this is ridiculous. Like what? But this is working. Where else can I do this? I didn't like my website. I said, my website doesn't actually seem very joyful. I'm going to change it. I'm going to ask my photographer to take me to my favorite taco place and take pictures of me eating my favorite tacos. And then I'm going to say, I love to go on the swings. So I'm going to take pictures of me on the swing. None of these pictures of me chopping vegetables in the kitchen like all other dietitians do. No, just things that make me happy and are authentic to me. So I put this all up on my website, which by the way, all my friends say, this is, you know, bad, bad, bad. No one's going to know you're a dietitian. These pictures are ridiculous. Anyway, I have this pink dress on my favorite pink dress. I stand in the middle of the street, like powerful. I have all these images on my website. Guess what happens? My joyful website draws in producers of a national reality show. And they say, we saw your website. We want who you are on our reality show. Will you do this? I, I can't believe this. I'm drawing in national reality shows. Like this is incredible. So I'm saying I'm going, I'm doubling down on this. I'm going to play the reality show with as much joy as I can. So all these other people are doing this reality show so serious. They're going to calculate grams of this. They're going to put people on paleo. They're going to do all these important diet things. I said, you know what? 
here's what we're going to do. We're going to have fun. We're going to enjoy the process. We're going to lead with joy. And everyone laughed at me. No one thought I was going to win the reality show. Uh, my contestant was quite alarmed as well. <laughs> and guess what? We won the reality show by using joy as a tool. And then I come home from the reality show. I did it, uh, taped that in um, Atlanta, Georgia. I came home and then uh, WGN said, hey, uh, we saw you on the reality show. You seem so joyful. Would you like your own TV show here? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening? So believe me, all I'm saying is I became a mega believer, right? I became a mega believer. And I started looking everywhere. What else can I learn about joy? I don't, I only know the tip of the iceberg. What else? And I started using this mantra, which I want to share with you. You would be more successful. I'm, you're already successful, right? You would be more successful if you added more joy. I would keep saying that. Anytime I wrote an email, anytime I would interact with somebody, just I, I would be more successful here if I added more joy. Then I started looking at actual science, right? So I believe it for myself. But am I making this up? Like this is this seems too good to be true. Like, is, am I making this up? I thought success is hard. I thought you were supposed to be bloody about it. You know, I thought you were supposed to be, how are you? I'm so busy. I can barely breathe. I, you know, I thought that's how it was supposed to be. I didn't think it was supposed to be joyful. Well, I come to find out there's a lot of science on this. So here's a study. This is in, just incredible. This is incredible. So nearly a million soldiers, so serious soldiers, okay, were tracked over five years. And the soldiers who had more positive emotions like joy were four times more likely to earn awards of valor, of bravery, all of these very important awards when they had positive emotions, four times more likely to be more brave and to be more award winning with joy, not getting serious, not with more discipline, not with more willpower, with more joy. What? Now I start looking into health. You know, it's my business. Health is my business. Yeah, sure enough, joy is associated with all sorts of things. Healthier aging, living longer, more immunity, literally fewer colds and flus, disease protection, everything from cancer to diabetes to heart disease. Joy, a positive affect is protecting us in all these health arenas. And so I'm diving deep now. Listen to this, you guys. This is unbelievable. I'm, how can this be? How can this be working, right? Wow. And so bottom line is this is a great 40 studies were compiled and there's over 7,000 people in all of these studies. And they started looking at people exercising. And they said, out of all of these thousands and thousands, 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 thousands people, who are these people who are actually exercising? Who are they? And come to find out the people who say and rate that they are enjoying exercise are the people who are consistent with exercise. They like it. They do it consistently. Huh, interesting. So this is starting to get to be the science of joy. Here's another example. You want to floss, okay? You want to take your vitamins. Great. So what this study did is they put two groups of people and they said to this group of people, listen, if you floss and you take your vitamins, here's what I'm going to tell you. You're going to live longer. You're going to have less inflammation. You're going to have less disease. There are so many benefits to doing flossing and taking your vitamins. Post all these benefits, keep reading all these benefits, you know, be just empowered with the benefits. That's one group. The other group, they said, hey, you know what? Floss and take your vitamins and have some fun with it. You know, maybe when you're flossing, you can play a little music. Um, maybe when you're taking your vitamins, you can put your water in a fun glass and drink it. You know, just have a good time, people. Just have a good time. Can you believe it? <laughs> after, after they look at these two groups, the people who floss and take their vitamins are not the people who are the most educated on the benefits. It is not them. The people who had more fun flossing and more fun and joy taking their vitamins were the ones who did it more often. Boom. Here's the science. You want to know, what am I talking about? Is this real? It is not woo-woo. It is a real thing. Joy activates something called our automatic motivation system. Now think about this. Let's slow it down and really think about this so that you can become a believer, a joy believer, right? Okay, you do something, do any action. What happens is you will naturally start assessing 
whether you know it or not, you are assessing pleasure versus pain. Okay. Guess what? If it was pleasurable, you're more likely to do it again, naturally, without trying, without willpower, discipline, or any of these things, right? It's just pleasurable. You'll do it again. If it's painful, you're less likely to do it again. It is as simple as this is why it is so important to use joy as a tool is that you will automatically become more engaged and more motivated to do the thing, right? And so you can even take actions like flossing that is not intrinsically a joyful experience and add a little bit of joy. It doesn't have to be, you know, a carnival and you know, laughs and giggles, it, it just a little bit of joy can go a long way as a tool to activate success, as a tool to activate your motivation. This is incredible stuff. This is powerful stuff. This is unbelievable. So at the end of the day, after you look at sort of this proof point of my own joy experiment, and I even didn't even believe it, even though I saw it, reading all sorts of studies and science on how this actually is a real thing, it really works. And there is not just woo around it, right? There's science. Here's what we know. Joy can really help you work smarter instead of harder. You don't get any bonus points. You don't get any medals for doing things a hard, painful way. Just because you are the most exhausted, busiest one, most overscheduled person in the room doesn't mean that you are going to be the most successful. In fact, are you just working harder instead of smarter, right? Is joy actually this missing piece for how you can get to that next level with your health? Believe me, I, my background is a registered dietitian nutritionist, right? I have studied nutrition and wellness and health and lifestyle. I know this stuff, but I am also a person who has a business and I happen to know that this is also for business. So is joy the missing piece for business and for health? And I am here, obviously, telling you that there is real science to support this. So guess what? I have just been going on and on and on. I have enthusiasm for the subject, and I have a slight suspicion that most, maybe not every, but most people who listen to this are like, all right, all right, all right. I think I might be a joy believer, okay? You might have gotten me, you know, I like your stories, great. I, I'm really impressed with the science. That's even more. So you know what? I am interested. Uh, now what? Now that you've sort of sold your ticket of goods here, you've sold your point of view. Now what? You know, how would I actually increase my joy skills? You know, because, hey, maybe I'm a pretty joyful person already. You know, maybe you weren't in the bottom of the barrel like I was where I couldn't find any joy all day long. Maybe you already have some. But maybe you're like, huh, maybe if I added more joy, I would be even more successful. So this is the section of the presentation where I'm really going to get into the joy skill set of things. And I cannot be more clear. I just, I need to take a break and I need to really focus you on this. It is not a forced fake positivity. The number one thing that people get wrong about joy is they really think it's some sort of false, like fake positivity. It's like, well, things are miserable in my life, but I'm just going to pull myself up by the bootstrap and try and be positive here. No, that is absolutely the opposite of what to do. Really feeling your feelings is the most important thing. And knowing that joy is something that you can cultivate, you can practice, you can learn it with specific skills. Now, wouldn't it be great if I figured out for you what those specific skills are that you could practice that would bring you more joy? Wouldn't it be great? Well, ta-da, I actually have. Because here's what happened to me, is I wanted to know personally, what are these skill sets that could increase joy? Because I don't want to fake positivity all over town. I want it to come from an authentic place, from really feeling this feeling, and I want to cultivate it with something that is systematic, formulaic, scientific, give me the tools. So what I ended up doing is creating a lot of different ideas and everything came into place in 2020 for me. When I read this research paper called Joy, a review of the literature 
and suggestions for future directions. This I read in 2020 when it came out and it confirmed every darn thing that I had been learning since 2012. So basically, if you do the math, I have a life PhD uh, from life of really just looking at joy personally, then with my clients, then in business, then in health, and then getting it all confirmed with their research study. And so here is the answer. It is called your joy GPS, just like your global positioning system on your car can get you to where you want to go. Your joy GPS is the three step method to help you find, to get on that journey and find more joy. Okay. And can there ever be too much joy? No, <laughs> there can't be. So again, I say, even if you're a joyful person, I think you have this all in the bag. These are three things, three steps that you can do to even elevate to the next level. So are you ready for your joy GPS tutorial? Here we go. First, of course, it's an acronym. I love acronyms. So GPS is an acronym for the three steps. G. The G stands for gratitude. And gratitude is love and appreciation for what is, for what exists, for what is right now. It is very similar to the joy journal that I could not do at the beginning, but that ended up acing at the end, is slow it down. And look every single email that comes through, any call, any text. Was there something to be grateful for there? You know, anything from dressing to brushing your teeth, you know, anything. Little tiny things, finding the joy or gratitude, appreciation and love of what is. This I give you as the first question for you to take with you today. I, You know what? I'm an adult learner. You're adult learners. I absolutely cannot stand just sitting in a webinar and not being able to apply it in my everyday life. Your application is step one. G, ask yourself, is there anything that I can do to slow it down today to catch more gratitude? You know, do you need to start a joy journal? What do you need to try and actually activate this in your life? And so what I decided to do is, in addition to asking you that question for work, and those are questions that you can answer for you and your job, I can also help you because I'm really in this nutrition, wellness, lifestyle, go a little deeper for what G or gratitude means with food and nutrition. So my next slide is looking at the gratitude. So the first job is for you to think about it for you at work. But for gratitude, when it comes to health, there are two main things that I teach people. It's first uh what we learned from research don't go to the gym trying to get abs trying to take your cholesterol and blood pressure under control don't go in with the benefits idea be excited in the moment for what your body is doing you know enjoying it uh finding things that you are engaged in that are like oh i love doing fitness classes because i love talking to people i love lifting weights because i love feeling strong enjoying the process but also and also being grateful for what your body can do and not what it looks like the minute you shift from looks into function how strong you are how um you know skillful you are how much endurance you have how much stamina anything like that is functionality you are going to go much farther in health when you shift into function rather than just looks and then table play chair is my ultimate. It's the number one thing I teach people as clients uh, is that anytime you're eating anything, this woman is eating a piece of cake. It's not meals, not just meals, snacks, desserts, anything. If you can eat it at a table play chair and really be grateful for that food, not it doesn't even have to have a ton of nutrition in it or anything. If you can be grateful for the food that you are eating and eat it like you mean it, eat it like you own it, eat it like a boss, at a table play chair, not sneaking it out of the fridge, not sneaking out of a cabinet, not sneaking it in the break room, like really owning it and eating every single thing you, I got to say, it's a game changer. These two things in health and wellness, game changer when it comes to success and it comes to health. All right. So G, that's your G of GPS. P, when it comes to your business, P stands for play, aka fun. This was very, very clear in that research study um, that I was talking to you about. And when I step back and think about, think about this even for yourself, when you are in a playful, fun vibe, you so okay, I'm feeling playful, I'm feeling fun. You're not taking your work so seriously. You're not taking everything so seriously, you're playful. 
you are, you're more likely to make those bold actions. You're more likely to do that cold email, make that cold call. You know what? You're in this vibe. You're more creative. You've had a problem for a long time. Now you're a little bit more creative to do some problem solving. You're feeling fun. You're feeling happy. You're energized. You are going to outwork people, not because you're forcing yourself to, but because you're in that play fun vibe. Fun is powerful. Fun delivers. Being playful gives you bold actions and creativity and energy. So my question to you is, today, right now, in any of the projects you have on your agenda, how can you be more playful? How can you add more fun? Even 5% more gratitude, 5% more play. These things will shift the needle for you. So ask yourself every single, I actually have something programmed in my phone that pops up randomly. Are you having fun? Are you having fun? Are you having fun? It reminds me all day of like, oh yeah, you know what? I could add a little more playfulness to this. Um, and it, people respond to it because you are having a good time and it's palpable. People can feel it. When it comes to food, like I said, I yes, apply this in your everyday work life. But also in terms of being a health tool, you can add play and fun by doing what my mantra is. Eat what you crave. Don't deny yourself what you crave, but just make it for with better for you ingredients. So you want tacos, you want pasta, you want hamburgers, you want fried rice, go for it, right? Make your tacos maybe with lentils, seasoned lentils instead of beef sometime. Make your pasta with garbanzo bean pasta and maybe some watercress pesto. Watercress is one of the highest antioxidant foods you could eat. It's a leafy green magic I put in my shake every day. Hamburger, maybe that you're having a blended burger, part meat, part mushroom. Maybe your bun is a sprouted whole grain bun. Maybe you're making your stir fried rice with cauliflower and brown rice. Um, maybe you're putting turmeric and black pepper in there for an anti-inflammatory extras. There is no reason why you can't be healthy and eat tacos and pasta and burgers and fried rice. It's just how are you making it, right? Are you having fun with this? Guess what? You're going to be eating healthfully way longer than the person who's white knuckling it, trying to just eat grilled chicken and broccoli all day, every day. You know, you can do it, but you can't do it forever. This is stuff you can do forever. It play and fun energizes you for consistency in the long run. Oh, I love that. GPS, baby. So we got S is the last one. And this, I think, surprises people. And it a little bit surprised me until I really thought about it. But S is simplicity. That joy is not, as we said, like carnivals and giggles and confetti and everything is disco balls. That's part of it. But joy is actually a bigger concept than that. Um, joy comes in excited joy like that, but it also comes in serene joy. And ease and simplicity give you this. And so I ask you as your takeaway for the S of this, what can I do today? What can I do with this project? What can I do right now to make it a little easier on myself, to add a little simplicity here? And it's not a lazy way out. It's actually a joyful way right? It, to have more ease and to have more simplicity, people pick up on that vibe and it feels good. And so think about this, you know, the gratitude, where can you add it? The play and fun, where can you add it? The simplicity, where can you add it? When it comes to food and nutrition, simplicity has gotten quite clear for me. I work on four things with people. People come to me and they are so confused with nutrition because they think they should eat carnivore. They think they should eat paleo. They think they should eat vegan, which everything is the opposite. Then they read about this. Then they read about this is contradicting that. And they have no idea. Well-read, educated people cannot figure out food and nutrition because it is overcomplicated. When you simplify it and literally boil down to the four things that actually health is, sleep, move, protein, poop. That is literally the four things. If you don't get your eight hours of sleep, I'll tell you what, there is no way you have enough energy to exercise at your top, okay? If you don't get enough sleep, you are tired and tired people go for carbs, they go for sugar, they go for quick energy, and usually that's not the nutritious stuff, right? Tired people are not making good decisions, so you gotta sleep. Move, anything's better than nothing. These people who act like, you know, you only have, you know, an hour every single day and you have to do this and that and that. If you just move anything, is better than nothing. There is so much research that moving your body in any way counts. Three, protein. 
Protein is so important for muscles and muscles are our longevity organ. The more muscle you have, the longer and healthier you will live. And in food, one of the things that you can do to ensure that you have healthy muscles is eat enough protein. That does not mean snack on a bunch of protein things all day long. It means meal mindset, eating three meals a day with around 30 grams of protein in each one. So that comes from a wide variety of foods. It can come from beans and lentils and nuts and seeds. It can also come from beef and pork and turkey and chicken and fish. It can come from eggs. It can come from dairy foods like yogurt and cheeses, uh, cottage cheese. All of these foods are protein foods. So getting enough protein foods in set meal time stimulates muscle protein synthesis, which means it helps you build healthy muscle. And then the final thing is poop. People think this is funny, but it's literally the biggest way you can tell if you're healthy or not. Are you drinking enough water? Are you getting enough fiber? You're pooping. If not, something has gone wrong with your fiber or your water. You really just think, oh, okay, maybe I'm going to practice this uh, hydrate more. You know, maybe I'm going to practice this. I don't even know what foods are fibrous. It's like, oh yeah, fruits, vegetables, beans, nuts, seeds. Okay. Maybe I need to start counting fiber for seven days and see how much do I even get it. If you sleep, move protein and poop, this is all wellness is. It doesn't have to be more complicated than that. Simplicity. Mwah. I love simplicity, Joy. Oh. So at the end of the day, listen, what did we learn today? Bottom line, if your mantra is my mantra, joy is a nutrient. You need it, baby. You need it to thrive. You need it for ultimate health. And so you better make sure you get your daily dose. And what the cool thing is, the coolest thing is that you're in charge of it. It's not some feeling that you're born with. It's not some feeling you have to force. Joy is literally a skill set. And there are three steps to it that if you apply to your business, to your life, to anywhere, you really can use this Joy GPS to find more joy, aka success, uh, aka fun, play, serenity, all of the things with using the GPS method. I, I mean, I just hope I convinced you to at least give this a try. Like me in 2012, I think the biggest thing is, is just experiment, right? Is just take this on as an experiment and see if GPS, you know, can work for you. And I'd love for us to keep in touch. So I have my name here and my website along with my social media handle, particularly on Instagram. Um, and you can follow along and I try and uh, maintain the information that I've given you and just give you more and more and more along the same lines. Mwah! Love, love, love it, Don. Unbelievable. I thought Yum. it was perfect. Perfect, perfect. And touched on a little bit at the beginning, relationships. And what you just told us is way more about relationships. It's about life and it's about each and every person on the call. By the way, if you have questions, put them in the chat. We'll reply to your to your questions, even if it's a little later. But Real estate is a relationship business. People want to work with people that they like and trust. And people want to work on a team where they are happy and they like and they trust. But again, this is about life. I think it pertains to every single human on the planet. And so many things that you mentioned, so many of those slides just spot on rang a bell. Today, um, you know, one question that came in, um, and I love your philosophy on just kind of simplicity and what works for you. There's so many fad diets and there's so many celebrity things and so much coming at you. And it can be such a cycle. Poor nutrition creates stress. Poor exercise creates, you know, negativity and it's all interconnected. So, you know, I think it's just trying to dig in and identify what the biggest issue is for you, but the way you simplified it, love, love it. Yeah, and I can say uh, that's probably the question that a lot of people say is like, okay, where do I start? Yeah, what's the, what's the most the question common question is, that you get from people? Where do you start? How do I start? I love this. I'm in. I bought in. I get it. The science, everything. Go. What do I do? And so it's like, all right, you know, the GPS system, the idea of gratitude and play and simplicity, it comes into even where you think about where you start. Well, where do you want to start? You know, it's like, I don't listen to what other people do. And they say, you know what? You got a point there. Where do I want to start? And it's like, you know what? I, I remember a couple of years ago when I was exercising every day at the gym, I felt great. So before I worry about, 
even you know gratitude journals or joy journals or anything i you know what your slides what got me was that simplicity want to just move your body and i i remember that feeling good i'm going to go with that and guess what happens it is momentum all you need is one little thing and all that happens is a huge momentum you know unbelievable so you don't have to do everything well just pick one thing that you wanna not something that you should if you do things you should you're gonna live a shitty life <laughs> no you gotta pick things you want to do pick one and then just wait for the the momentum yeah and change your mindset like you said you were doing the same things you did way back when you couldn't think of one thing but it's just the way you looked at it and the way you looked at life and i think everyone will agree that people want to be surrounded by people that are positive and make them feel good and not just work with, but to, you know, be around relationships and, you know, go through life with. So uh, it's, true, but I gotta, it's so true, but I got to say, I, I have found a lot of fake positivity in this world. I mean, there's a lot of fakers, a lot of people who are holding their breath and faking it. And it's like, what this was really supposed to drive home is this idea of a skill set is that you really don't have to fake it. You really can have gratitude and play and simplicity as some driving principles and you feel good automatically. And that, I think that is for me, the, the most helpful thing, skills that I can practice. Love it. So cannot thank you enough. Thank you for such a strong presentation. I hope every single person here has, is inspired to think about what Dawn talked about and to improve your wellness in, in your life and you know be more successful as a, a person as in, in your career as well. So thank you so much, John. Can't thank you enough. And if people, uh, again, drop your questions in the chat, we will make sure they, they get to Dawn and we will reply to you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, Don Jackson Blattner. That was great stuff. Uh, Don's contact information was on the slide, but please give us your questions in the chat if you want to contact her or if you have any questions about her presentation. Really enjoyed that. And as a, as a follow-up to Don's presentation, who talked about the importance of attitude and happiness and, and joy and how it's so a, a big part of success and also part of wellness and nutrition, I want to give you all a quick look at our newly launched rate app. I'll pull it up on my on my phone here. So I'd like to give you a little tour of our rate app. We have partnered with Deepak Chopra, who is a prominent global figure in the entire meditation movement. And because we not only care about our clients, but because we care deeply about people and data today saying 80% of all people experience stress at some level. And the two main causes are financial and physical. So on the left here, of the app is financial wellness. On the right is personal wellness. This app is for everybody. This app is free. Here's the financial wellness side. I'll tap on the left and you can see here is a list of all of our financial fintech products from our same day mortgage to our refi products, HELOC, home equity line of credit, cash out refi, HECM or home equity conversion mortgages, uh, personal loans. Again, these are all ways to help relieve stress financially at the very bottom insurance. We want to help you save money on insurance, home, auto, life, even, even pet insurance, ways to help people save money on insurance. So uh, again, on the, on the left, a menu of all the ways we can help with the financial wellness piece again. This app can be shared on the top right there, those three dots. You can share this app with, with anyone, clients, friends. On the, the right side of the app here, personal wellness. These are our four categories of personal wellness content, meditation, nutrition, strength, yoga, lots of videos here. We will continue to add new content at the very bottom. There is a 
scroll of all of our expert instructors from different cities. And if you have an instructor that you enjoy, you can go to that particular instructor and watch their videos. Again, we'll continue to add new videos in each, each category. We'll go into each one. Um, meditation, for example, you can see a list of all the different types of meditation to wake up in the morning and take a meditation class, mantra, breath work, um, top right nutrition, perfect to, as a follow-up for what Dawn just talked about with nutrition. Here's digestive health videos, um, nutrition, nutrient density, food allergies, lots of nutrition videos. Bottom left is strength. These are the classic fitness strength classes, bar, core strength. Pilates, HIT, high intensity interval training to take uh, guided fitness classes by our instructors. And the last one, yoga. I, I love yoga personally. You can do it anywhere. You can do it in your hotel room. Different types of yoga classes. You can um, you know, wake up each morning and take a yoga class. Here's the uh, stretching category, different um, types of yoga classes under stretching. Here is the from five minutes, 10 minutes, but you can go to the app and choose a yoga stretching course. Again, new content will be added to the app uh, ongoing. So no cost again to download it, go to the app store and search rate. Uh, this app is for everybody. Back on the homepage, there's our relationship at the top with Dr. Uh, Chopra. Again, his videos and content is there. I'll tap on that. And here you can see some of uh, Dr. Chopra's meditation videos. Some of these are, are shorter to start your day. Some are, are longer videos, but again, global expert Deepak Chopra, we have his content. He was thrilled to be a part of our right app and we are uh, you know happy to to feature him to help people with uh, meditation and his entire his entire philosophy so again look for new content coming in each category at the very bottom for you agents we do have a mortgage calculator and a home valuation tool there at the bottom too so again check out the right app it is free it is for everyone, and I hope it helps you and your clients with your financial and personal stress to, hope, to help everybody lead a, a better life. Um, we hope you enjoyed that presentation from Don, and we hope you join our next Agent Advantage webinar. If you have any questions, please contact us at agentsatrate.com. We would love to hear from you. Also check out our Agent Advantage Insider Facebook page. Click that QR code on the screen or go to Facebook and search Agent Advantage Insider. That will keep you up to date on everything we're doing here at Agent Advantage. And again, there's our contact information. Hope you enjoyed Don's presentation and we are thrilled and proud to launch our new rate app. Hope you check that out. On behalf of the Guaranteed Rate family of companies, I am Kirk Klaus. Thanks for being with us and have a great rest of your day.